Klein Vision's two-seat flying car goes on sale next year and is faster in the air than on the ground. Slovakia-based Klein Vision is putting its air car flying car into production next year. The two-seater is limited to 124 miles per hour on land, but can hit 155 miles per hour in airplane mode. Wings that store behind the driver for road use extend to give a 27-foot wingspan. Roads. Where we're going we don't need roads. So claimed back to the future's Doc Brown as he, Marty and Jennifer prepared to take to the skies in his freshly upgraded flying DeLorean. But starting next year the air car, the world's first production flying car, will give you the choice of using both for around the price of a well-specced Lamborghini Revuelto. We've been riding about Klein Vision's air car for five years now and watched it take off and fly without crashing. But making a prototype is one thing and putting it into production something different altogether. Now though, the Slovakia-based company has revealed images of the production model. And its co-founder told Top Gear it'll be on sale next year for around $800,000. Compared with the original test car slash plane, the renderings show a machine with a longer windshield giving the impression of a shorter front overhang. The headlights and the fenders are replaced by sawtooth vents and the lights move to the front. But the overall shape, giant rear wing configuration and centrally mounted propeller remain mostly unchanged. It still looks like a mashup of 1980s Group C Racer and World War II era Lockheed P-38 Lightning. What has changed, Klein says, is the engine setup. Previously listed as a 1.6-liter BMW unit, the air car's power unit now comes from a South African supplier and makes 276 horsepower, 280 PS. Though Top Gear claims 316 horsepower, 320 PS, and 335 horsepower, 340 PS versions are on the options menu. The lightweight 1,764 pounds, 800 kilograms, air car maxes out at 124 miles per hour, 200 kilometers per hour, on the road, but can reach 155 miles per hour, 250 kilometers per hour, in the sky. Converting a limo length, 19 feet slash 5.8 m, coupe to an aircraft with a 27 feet, 8.2 meters, Wingspan involves a two-minute wait while the wings are unfolded, so it's not like dropping the top on a modern cabrio, and the lack of a pressurized cabin means you're limited to an altitude of 10,000 feet, 3,050 meters. But that's not much lower than the realistic peak altitude of the Cessna Skyhawk you could buy for the same money. And you can't drive the Cessna home once you've touched down, can you? The air car might sound like a very niche proposition. But Klein Vision says the air mobility industry is predicted to be worth $162 billion by 2034 and thinks its flying car won't only be bought by rich playboys who've tired of track days, but by taxi firms as well.